Hey guys, this is Chris again, coming in with another review. Uh, this time I'm finally doing the review of the Zen 104, the STSA on the strap that I got. I'll get this watch here in a second, but a uh, quick wristwatch check. I am wearing the Hamilton, the Khaki King, on the wrist candy watch club strap, native, or NATO, the olive NATO. I think it looks pretty good on that. I have Erica's original strap on the way, a green national strap, the um, green with the yellow stripe. I heard those straps are really, really cool straps. But before I get on to that guy, um, just a quick little sneak peek of what's coming up soon. The next couple days, I'm going to be reviewing this yellow Nemo. Sorry about the lighting, you guys. Like I said, I'm a uh, big dog sitting in my parents' house, so I'm not filming at my usual house like where I usually stay at. So. But um, I, I got this on loan from um, Eric and the guys over at EMG Watches, the Yellow Nemo. This is a pretty cool piece. I love the yellow dial. kind of reminds me of like a yellow Mako. But um, on to the watch here. In question, this is the, of course the Zen 104 that you guys have been waiting for. This piece is definitely a killer piece. Um, it, it's so versatile. It looks great on just about anything. It comes in at 41 millimeters on the case and 20 millimeter lugs. And like I said, it just any kind of nader strap or anything looks good on this. The version I got is the non Arabic numerals. I just got the plain down indices. It's got that, you see, almost like that sponge style hand. I just felt, in my personal opinion, everybody's got their own opinion, but in my personal opinion, I think this looks, has like a cleaner look. Um, as you can see, the day and date, which of course, you know, I never change the day and date on watches, which I prefer no date watches. But um, the day and date is over here at the 3 o'clock position. And then it's got the crown here, the sign crown, and the 3 o'clock position also. And as many of you know, it's the Salida Automatic Movement, which is not a bad movement in this price range. I paid, I think at the time I paid right before the um, watch buys, before the price hike on all the Zins went up, I think I paid right around $1,300. And at that price, this watch is a really, really killer, like into the entry level of luxury watches. I know a comment was made whenever I said, you know, entry level watches as per se on my, this and the Squally on my one video. Um, but what I meant to say was those are entry level kind of luxury pieces. I think in most people's eyes anyways, at least in my eyes they are because that's, I mean, that's a lot for a lot of people to pay. I mean, it was a good bit for me to pay. So I, that's what I consider uh, entry level and the luxury pieces. But um, again, like I said, this is uh, definitely worth the price and these things hold their value really, really well. I've actually held a um, Breitling Super Ocean Heritage 2 in person, the Diver, even though this is a Pilot's watch. And this really, really reminds me heavily of that Breitling, that Super Ocean Heritage 2. It just um, feels great on the wrist. That 42, even that 46 millimeter is not that big of a piece. But the quality here is definitely on par, if not as, like, as good as the Breitling. It has this bi-directional basil, which works really good. Sorry, I just had to get a grip. It takes a little bit of getting used to on the bi-directional basil. Basil, excuse me guys, sorry, that's my southern accent kicking in. I know I've had a couple comments about that. But um, yeah, I mean, this bezel is definitely pretty smooth. It's killer. I mean, this is a palette's watch. And I believe it comes in at, don't quote me on that guys, I think 200 meters, I think, water resistance on this thing which is really, really good for a pallet watch. So that means you don't have to worry about, like say you go to the beach or you go to the pool, whatever, you don't have to worry about it if you forget you're wearing this and not have to worry about it getting, you know, wet. You can take it in the pool, whatever, and not have to really worry about it. Of course, you know, then this quality is killer. You know, I've got the new one, which that's just like a hardcore diver. Nobody's ever gonna go diving that deep, hardly. Maybe, maybe 5% of us might be in the watch hobby that hardcore diver but there's not that many of us that are so most of us are kind of like myself like desk divers we just like the look of the watches but like i said for that kind of depth rating on a pilot swatch like this that's i mean that's pretty stout of course you see the made in germany it's got the automatic down here with the k which is german i'm assuming of course 
Like I said, you guys probably know more than I do about it, but um, it's got that cushion style case. Like I said, it's got that crown at 3 o'clock. I've had uh, one of my viewers commented about the crown being on the, uh, where it is on the 3 o'clock, about it pushing down in your wrist. I really have no problems with that at all. Like it's just comfortable. Let me uh let me try it on here real quick and show you guys. Take off the the hammy, put this on. As I said, this is a, a really, really versatile piece. I've, I've got it on this um, old com Bond Commander style NATO here and as you can see there's the crown right there and I can you know almost put my big old seven and a half inch wrist it doesn't even I'm making my hand do that it doesn't even push in the crown at all I mean there's never a mark left on there and this is what it will look like like I said I've got a big old seven and a half inch wrist and I feel like this fits me perfect it's not too big and I feel like if you got a smaller wrist it definitely won't be too big and this is not too small either on that size wrist again sorry about the lighting guys like I said I'm not in my normal place I don't have my studio lights or anything like that but um look for more reviews uh I'm gonna send this off to a couple other youtubers um I think guy from uh just bluefish watches wants to check this out Bruce Williams wants to check this out possibly Adam over at 1010 talk so look for a little tour of this watch of course, those guys can give you a better review on that, on this piece than I can. They're more experienced than that. But um, overall, this watch is, like I said, so versatile. I think you can definitely dress it up, dress it down. I think you can put like a leather, like a custom leather strap on it. Wear it to the office, do, you know, wear it to work with a button-up polo shirt, whatever you can wear it with. You can wear it casually. You can wear this guy to the beach, even. I mean, you can wear it. I wear it all the time. If... This and again, this is another bold statement. I say that if I had to get rid of all my watches and only get down to one watch, I think this might would probably be the one watch that I would keep out of all my watches. I I mean, it's that good of a watch. It's just that burst of a piece, and the quality is definitely there. Like I said, this is definitely coming really close in the heavy hitters of the luxury brand watches, and you get a lot for your money on this piece. I really don't find. I mean, I've only owned this about a month now, and so far I've not really found any faults with it at all. I know it's hard not to find the fault. If I had to say something one way or the other about it, like a negative, I would have went maybe 40 millimeter, kind of like the Khaki King I was just wearing. Maybe like 40 millimeter over there and done like 20 millimeter lugs. But overall, this 41, like I said, does not wear big, and as I mentioned, it doesn't, as the viewer was worried about, it doesn't stick in your, you know, the back of your hand. The crown doesn't. I mean, this cushion style case wears perfect. And aesthetically, this thing is just, like I said, you can just wear this anywhere. You can wear it in the office. You can wear it, I mean, you can do, get away with it really, really good. Uh, pretty soon I'm hoping to have, you know, I've got my camera, my new camera, so I'm, I'm working on learning that and taking pictures and all that. So I'll have that in for you guys and on that pretty soon. So you'll get a, a follow-up video with this uh, long-term ownership. Like I said, it's going to go out to the YouTubers, the other YouTubers, and they are uh, they can definitely do a, a more thorough and better review. They're more, more experienced than I am, so they can definitely give you a better review of this guy. But overall... I would definitely, this is one of the few watches that I would rate, like a 10 out of 10. I have no problems with it whatsoever. Uh, the only, I don't know, the, the movement is just really, really spot on. I've had a lot of good luck with Selena movements. It's just, um, of course, they decorate it with their own in-house kind of thing on the back, but you guys have all seen that. Uh, they have the white dial version of this also, which I've heard looks really, really killer. I almost got the white dial version, but they were sold out at the time. Like I said, I got it before the price increase, and the price increase only made it go up like 50 bucks. I talked to, um, which we call it, the guy over at Watch Buys, and he was telling me, you know, the price increase is not going to be that big of a difference. Everybody thinks it's going to be a big difference, but it really, really wasn't. And like I said, this if you're still on the fence about this piece, I would definitely recommend this piece. Like I said, this is an awesome first kind of entry level into luxury watch collecting. 
And just because it doesn't have Swiss made on it doesn't mean it's not of any value or not a really good piece. I would take this piece over any piece any day. Well, not any piece, but I would, you know what I'm saying. This is a really, really killer piece. It's just the quality. Like I said, I just can't hark on that enough. I've had my U1 longer than this. And this is more of a aesthetically appealing watch than to most people. And I think, like I said, with the, the comparison to the Super Ocean Heritage 2, I think if you get like a really, really good quality, like a mesh bracelet to add on to this, look just almost just like that Breitling Super Ocean Heritage 2 at a fraction of the price. Both killer watches. I, I may eventually get that Breitling, but as of now, this is kind of holding me off and wanting to buy that. But um, anyways, guys, thanks for listening. All right, peace.